Okay, uh, today we're going to start discussing uh, maps. Uh, maps are one of the simplest data structures we will learn this year, but I suspect of all the data structures we will learn, it's probably the most useful. And so you'll find that maps can be used to sort, uh, to solve a, a large no type number of problems. And um, the, the maps in Java are a library class, and they work fairly well. But there's another language where maps are built into the language where it works really, really well. Uh, Mila, do you know what language that is? Uh, is it Python? Dictionary? It's Python. And in Python, as Mila has mentioned, Maps are called dictionaries, and uh, we'll look at those maybe later on if we have a brief moment. But <laughs> conceptually, they work the same way in Java. So in order to explain to you what a map is, I first need to go over some basic algebra with you, which I'm guessing everyone here has learned already, and I'm sure it's not a problem for you, but just in case there's any issues. So <clears throat> let's look at this function over here x, and here's f of x over here. And let's say I have some, uh, some polynomial that looks like this. What is it that makes this a function or not a function? So for example, let's say I have some gaps here, over here like this. Is that still a function, yes or no? What do you think about that? Ben, what do you think? Yes. It's still a function. How about if I have um, something like this? Is that a function? Uh, Miss uh, Telesco, what do you think? No. Okay, tell me why it's not a function, Miss. You can't have one x with multiple y's. We would say that this fails what? Who can tell me? Vertical line test. So here you can see it fails the vertical line test like that. So what we're going to talk about now are discrete functions. And so let's talk about, for example, uh, this function right here where I have a star which goes, turns into the letter A, and then I have a triangle which turns into the letter B, and then let's say I have uh, another star which turns into the letter C, and then let's say I have um, a square which turns into the letter D here like that. And what I want to know is, is this a discrete function or not? Mr. Joji, what do you think, sir? It is not. And can you tell me why it's not a function? Okay, so one x value has two different y values. Now, what if I were to do this to it? Would that be okay? Is it a function now? Mr. Alejandro, what do you think? Uh, yeah. Now it's a function, okay? All right, so that is, in a nutshell, uh, what a function is and is not.